Chef Paul Frazier is here. What are we making? Crab crusted red snapper. Ooh, crab crusted red snapper. That's just ahead, and I can't wait. I'm so excited. <laughs> Stare at their time. <laughs> Helping a new mom clear up a nearly $10,000 insurance problem at six. An all new Oprah. Attention, bargain shoppers. Sarah Jessica Parker has got a deal for you. Her latest creations, all less than 20 bucks. Then, a top home designer's decorating secret. How to get her million dollar style for cheap. Plus, which of these wedding gowns do you think is under $100? No joke. And why this NBA star has kids lining up in droves. Look fabulous. Save money next Oprah. Today at 4 on News Channel 8. If you're shopping for a new or used RV, do not, repeat, do not miss this sale. We're cooking up some great deals during Dusty's Grill Fest in Bartow. Over 400 of the hottest new and used RVs will be marked down for this event. Towable payments as low as $119 a month and motorhomes as low as $399 a month. Plus, join us for free lunch on the grill every Saturday from 11 to 2. Save thousands now during the Grill Fest, only at Dusty's Camper World and only through May 27th. Call 1-866-RV Dealer for hours and directions. We just got a new car, a good time to look at new car insurance, and we went with Progressive, saving like 400 a year. Uh, but what really impressed me was they actually gave me the rates to the other big companies. was not expecting that. I mean, that kind of honesty is... Oh, did you have anything to do with this? No. Right. Get our rates plus competitors at Progressive.com. Honest. Progressive. Saving hundreds is just the beginning. I signed up for car insurance on Progressive.com. I saved money, which was great, but they also have these local response vehicles. And if you're in an accident or need an estimate or whatever, a Progressive guy will come to you. And they're all over. I am a musician who's on the road a lot, so it's pretty cool that they'll come to me if my van, you know, gets pummeled by adoring fans. Or if I hit a pole. Progressive. Saving hundreds is just the beginning. It came out of nowhere. Daytime. I'm Lindsay McDonald here in the Daytime Kitchen, and today we are celebrating aquatic creatures with the special chef who volunteers his time to a world, oh, let's just say the aquarium world, right? Yes. We've sure. got Chef Paul Fraser here from Chateau Privé. Oh, it sounds very regal, very mm -hmm. wonderful, and I bet the food that's there is just as spectacular oh, as the name. Very exclusive. And we're going to be making one of your dishes today. Yes, this is one of our signature dishes. It's the crab crusted red snapper. Ooh, ooh. Yes. That sounds a lot. Is this something that's difficult to make? Um, no, not if you've been doing it for quite some time, but, you know, if you're in the kitchen for the first time, there is a lot of components in the dish, so. Uh, well, let's get cooking and let's make it easy for everybody out there watching. All right, let's do that. What's the first thing we do here? Well, first I started out, I needed to roast my potatoes because that's going to take the longest amount of time. You know, I blanched off my asparagus just to get those cooked ahead of time. Um, first, what I'm going to do here is... And when you say blanch, you just you stick them in some water for a little yeah, while. Yeah, boiling water just for about 30 seconds. I always that. make them too mushy. That's my See. problem with asparagus. But I still love it. Okay, so then you you added a little olive oil, I'm assuming. Yes, that's correct. And I'm just going to make sure the pan's nice and hot because I want to make sure the skin on the snapper is nice and crispy. Okay, sounds great. And then you've put, you've put the snapper... It looks like you've got, um, other than flour, you've got a little salt and pepper in there as yes, well. Yes, definitely. It. Nice seasoned flour. Give okay. it a little base flavor. And you're going to saute that for just a, a, a few minutes? I'm going to saute it for a few minutes, get a nice crispy skin on it, and then I'm going to add the snapper stuffing here. Wonderful. All right, well, let's get that baby cooking because we, right. we, fortunately we don't have as much time here as I, I would love to. So, like you said, you're going to saute it on a medium heat. Do we? Can we add any more salt and pepper? Uh, if you want to. Okay. It's just to taste, you know? Yeah, I use as much seasoning as I possibly yes, can. Yes, definitely. As much yeah. French chefs do. I like my face to run, my <laughs> eyes to run, my makeup to run, and my nose to, to run as well when I'm cooking. No, the garlic. I noticed that you have other ingredients here. You have some shallots, you have some garlics, you have some um, baby sweet tomatoes. Yes, Are we going to add that all now or is that later? We'll see. Most of these components were made for the sauce okay. and for the uh, crab stuffing. So all of it's just to give a nice base flavor to everything. When you have your uh, mise en place here, you normally want to keep your shallots and garlic just to give it that, that onion base flavor, give it a good uh, solid. 
question taste. for a chef. Someone told me that when you cook with shallots and when you cook with uh, garlic, they kind of cancel each other out as far as the taste go. I haven't found that to be really true, though. No, Is that the case? Um, actually, they work really well together. And yes. they give you wicked breath. Yes, that's correct. I know, but... sorry. I get a problem with that. <laughs> okay, so we've cooked this baby up. Let's move to the next step now. Okay, what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to just stuff the... It's more play on words. We're just going to top it here. Okay, and this is crab meat with what else inside? Caramelized leeks and heavy cream. Oh, yes. Yeah. So this is a slightly more complicated recipe, but of course it is on daytime online.tv. So just click on recipes uh, on the website and you can get the you can get this wonderful dish for yourself and make it at home. And uh, while we're letting this cook and saute for just a little bit, I want to bring my friend up here. Right. Now, I've got Tom here. Tom is from the Florida Aquarium. Come yes. on, right on in here Hi. in between while we're cooking this. And uh, you guys do all sorts of special events with wonderful foods, wines, and you've got something great coming up, too. We do. This Saturday, we have a wine tasting. But throughout the year, we've got events. And the best way to find out about those events is go to our website, which is flaquarium.org. Okay, again, flaquarium.org. Absolutely. It's a great place to come on any given day. You can come face-to-face -face with penguins. You can do dive with the sharks, swim with the fishes, and swim with the fishes even if you're six years old. Old. You can do a surface swim in our coral reef exhibit, which is a half a million gallons of natural salt water wow. and more than 2,300 fish, including moray eels. Oh, 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 I'm a big fan of those, actually. I just don't <laughs> want to get in the way of them. No. And actually, it, it is fun. I've been to a couple of events at the aquarium. It's a ton of fun because you're watching all these fish and these animals go by, and you're having a glass of wine, feeling very hotsy totsy, snazzy. Absolutely. It's, it's a really enjoyable event. It's a great destination yeah. place. You know, at night, especially, the aquarium takes on this funky kind of vibe to it. And it's one of the most unique venues in Tampa. In fact, it was rated number one unique event by uh, Events Solutions Magazine. Oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah. All right, well, listen, I didn't just call you up here to talk about the Florida Aquarium. <laughs> I want you to taste this delicious meal. Now, the Red Snapper is going to probably need to cook for just a little bit longer. Yes. Um, but you know what? I want you to dig in. Take, you just have to How use about your potato? fingers. We use, How about yes, a you do the potatoes and the asparagus here, and it's quite lovely. And yes. I have to say, Paul, Tom, you guys are terrific. Thanks for being here. Thank Thanks you for having us. Appreciate that's it. Fantastic. And if you guys want more information about the Florida Aquarium, attractions and events go to flaquarium.org or link there through daytimeonline.tv. You can also get today's recipes like I mentioned earlier on daytimeonline.tv. And stay with daytime. We'll be back with a whole lot more. And I want to taste this. Mm, that sauce is beautiful. That's fantastic. That's a beautiful sauce. And that's smelling great. When you're ready to buy for less, we're ready to sell. Once upon a child, stop in and save on a great selection of gently used kid stuff. It's got to be in here somewhere. Got a real storage problem? Call the real storage experts. Call Public Storage at 1-800-44-STORE to get your first month for just a dollar. We can solve almost any storage problem with large and small units, moving supplies, and truck rentals and more convenient locations than anyone else. Call 1-800-44-STORE or click to get your first month for just a buck at your nearby Public Storage. The real storage experts. Feeling real good about lunch today. This new KFC biscuit bowl's got all my favorites. It's got chicken. I got a burger. Mashed potatoes. Uh, fries. Got corn and gravy, cheese. And now it comes with a biscuit. Well, I got a bun. It's kind of like a biscuit. It's not even a little bit. Biscuit-esque. No, it's not. <laughs> Introducing the new chicken and biscuit bowl from KFC. Layers of mashed potatoes, sweet corn, all-white meat chicken, new homestyle white gravy, and a three-cheese blend. And now it comes with a buttermilk biscuit. Dig into great layers of flavor with new KFC Famous Bowls. It's the relationships with our patients and families that is the foundation of our care. Tidewell provides the hospice care that my patients need. They also provide the support that the families will need. I believe that hospice helps prepare the patient and the family. Providing comfort, care, and compassion when and where it's needed most. What does it mean to be trustworthy? Don't lie, cheat, or steal. Do what's right, even when it's hard. Keep your promises. It's that simple? Yes! Be an individual. Love yourself. Treat others the way you want to be treated. Teaching life skills like being trustworthy is as important as reading, writing, and arithmetic. 
That's why we're partnering with News Channel 8 in the Connect with Kids program. Connect with your kids and log on to TBO.com, keyword CWK. On the next daytime, we are taking a look at some of the hottest outdoor fabrics for your garden.